Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue to read the Iliad by Homer. I'm going to continue to read. So it was in the old days too. So we've heard in the famous days of fighting men, of heroes, when seething anger would overcome the great ones. Still you could bring them round with gifts and winning words. There's an old tale I remember. An ancient explored, nothing recent, but this is how it went. We are all friends here, let me tell it now. The curators were fighting the combat hard. Aeotilians, armies ranging, Caledon slaughtering each other, Aeotilians defending their cities' handsome walls, and Curates primed to lay them waste in battle. It all began when Artemis, throned in gold, loosed a disaster on them, incensed that Aeneas offered her no first fruits. His orchards crowning glory, the rest of the gods had feasted full on oxen too, but the huntress alone. Almighty Zeus' daughter, Aeneas gave her nothing. It slipped his mind, or he failed to care. But what a fatal error, how she filmed Zeus' child, who showers arrows, she loosed a Bristol wild boar, his tusks gleaming, crushing his salvage, monstrous way through Aeneas' orchard, ripping up whole trunks from the earth to pitch them headlong, row of them, roots and all, apple blossoms and all. But the son of Aeneas, Maliga, cut him down, mustering hunters out of dozen cities. Packs of hounds as well, no slim band of men could ever finish him off, that rippling killer. He stacked so many men atop the tear-soaked pyre, but over his body the goddess raised a terror, terrific din. A wall for the prize, the huge beast's head and the shaggy hide. Curates locked to the death with brave Atenians. Now, so long as the battle hungry, Maligar fought, it was deadly going for the Curates, no hope of holding their ground outside their own city walls, despite superior numbers. But then, when the wrath came sweeping over the man, the same anger that swells the chests of others, for all their care and self-control, then heart enraged at his own dear mother Althea. Maliger kept to his bed beside his wedded wife, Cleopatra, that great beauty, remember her? The daughter of trim-hued Mapessa, Eurina's child, and her husband Idas, strongest man of the man, who once walked the earth, he even braved Apollo. He drove his bow at the archer, all for Marpessa, the girl with lovely ankles. There in the house, her father and mother always, always called Cleopatra Halcyon after the seabird's name. Grieving once for her own fate, her mother had raised the Halcyon's thin, painful cry wailing that Lord Apollo, the dis distant deadly archer, had whisked her far from Adas. Maligius Cleopatra, she was the one he lay beside those days, brooding over his heart-breaking anger. He was enraged by the curses of his mother. Volleys of curses she called down from the god, she so racked with grief for her brother, he had killed. She kept pounding feast on the earth that feeds us all, kept crying out to the god of death, and the green Persephone flung herself on the ground, tears streaking her robes, and she screamed out, Kill my leader, kill my son, and out of the world of darkness a fury heard her cries. Stalking the night with a furious, brutal heart, and suddenly thunder breaking around the gates and the roar of enemies, towers battery under assault, and Aetilius' elders begged Melegia, sent high priest of the god, pleading, Come out now, defend your people now, and they vowed a princely gift, 
wherever the richest land of Greek Helidon lay, there they urged him to choose a grand estate, full of fifty acres, half of it turned to vineyards, half to open plowland and cover it from the plain. And over and over the old horseman Oeneus begged him. He took a stand at the vaulted chamber's threshold, shaking the vaulted doors, begging his own son, over and over his brothers and noble mother, implored him. He refused them all the more, and troops of comrades, devoted, dearest friends, not even they could bring his fighting spirit around, until, at last, rocks were raining down on the chamber. Corytes about to mount the towers and touch the great city, and then, finally, Malija's bride, beautiful Cleopatra, begged him, streaming tears, recounting all the graves that fall to people whose cities seized and plundered. The men slaughtered, set a deal, burned to rubble, enemies dragging the children, reaping the sash, the lovely woman, how his spirit leaped when he heard those horrors and buckling his gleaming armor around his body, out he rushed to war. And so he saved them all from the fatal days. He gave way to his own feelings, but too late. No longer would they make good the gifts, those troves of gifts to warm his heart. Even so, he beat off the disaster, empty-handed. But you, you wipe such thoughts from your mind. Don't let your spirit turn you down that path, dear boy. Harder to save the warships once they are up in flames. Now, while the gifts still wait, go out and fight. Go, the kings all will honor you like a god. But enter this man-killing war without the gifts. Your fame will flag, no longer the same honor, even though you hurl the children's home. But the swift run Achilles answered firmly, Phoenix, old father, bred and loved by the gods, why, what do I need with honor such as that? I say my honor lies in the great decrees of Zeus, that gift will hold me here by the big ships, as long as the Life breath remains inside my chest, and my springing knees will lift me. Another thing, take it to heart. I urge you, stop confusing my mixed resolve with this, this weeping and wailing just to serve his pleasure. Atreus, mighty son, it degrees you to curry favor with that man, and I will hate you for it. I who love you, it does you proud to stand by me, my friend, to attack the man who attacks me. Be king on par with me, take half my honors. These men will carry their message back, but you, you stay here and spend the night in the soft bed. Then tomorrow at the first light, we will decide whether we sail home or hold out here. I'm going to stop here today and continue next time. Thank you for watching.